I came across an interesting cooling protocol that provides rapid recovery at the gym when fatigue sets in. In fact, a lab technician in Stanford who volunteered to test it out got his pull-ups from 100 reps to 600 reps in six weeks. Can this protocol help with CrossFit? I don't know, so let's test it out. I originally learned about this protocol in an episode of Dr. Andrew Huberman's podcast. Dr. Huberman is a neuroscientist in Stanford, and in one of his episodes, he shares a study where the bench press performance of two groups were compared against each other. Group 1 did the cooling protocol, while Group 2 took testosterone, which was pretty much steroids. He says the cooling protocol group drastically outperformed the roided up group. I couldn't find that study, but I did find this one that had three groups in it. A cooling protocol group, a heating protocol group, and a neutral temperature group. These were the results. The cooling group did 2,480 reps. The heating group only did 1,972 reps, and the neutral group did 2,156 reps. The cooling group did better than the heating group and neutral group by 508 reps and 324 reps respectively. The cooling protocol was simple. All they had to do was cool their palms. That's it. They built a machine that did that, but Dr. Huberman said that you can just use cold water. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to test this protocol on three CrossFit movements. The kipping handstand push-ups, the butterfly pull-ups with a 25-pound med ball in between my feet, and thrusters with a 135-pound bar. The plan is to do the following. There is going to be a baseline round and an experimental round. For the baseline round, I'm going to do as many reps as possible of handstand push-ups for two minutes, rest for two, do as many butterfly pull-ups as possible for two minutes, rest for two, and finally do max thrusters for two minutes. The experimental round, is, on the other hand, is going to be similar, except I'm going to add the cooling protocol before each movement. There's also going to be a week of wait time in between rounds because I don't have time to do them for two days in a row. All right, I'm gonna go to the gym and do the first round. All right, so I'm at the gym and this, this is the mat that I'm gonna be using for the handstand push-ups. This is the 135 pound bar for the thrusters. I tested it out, this is really heavy, so we'll see how it goes. And that's my setup for the butterfly pull-ups. Time to have some fun. So count 35 on the handstand push-ups. So I'm gonna give myself two minutes to rest, and then I'm gonna do butterfly pull-ups. So the 25 pound ball fell, and I couldn't keep it in between my feet, even with the hip circle trying to hold it. So I'm gonna go down to uh, 20 pounds. I should have tested the 25 pounds, but oh well. Well, that was a disaster. That was harder than I thought. On to the next one. I did 35 handstand push-ups, 36 butterfly pull-ups, and 18 thrusters for a total of 89 reps. Let's see if I can beat that next week using the cooling protocol. Here's a simple explanation behind the POMP cooling protocol. When the cells in the body overheat, they're essentially saying stop or else you're going to die. They hit the brake so you won't cook yourself to death, which causes the fatigue. Also, there is a rule in the body where blood travels from the arteries to the capillaries and then to the veins. You can think of those three things as tubes, with the capillaries which are in the middle as the tiniest tubes but the palms, face, and feet have different structures which allows blood to bypass the capillaries for the most part. This allows us to dump the heat faster and cool the core faster than any other means through those three regions of the body. If you want a more detailed explanation with all the scientific terms, I'll leave a link to Dr. Huberman's podcast episode in the description below. Okay, let's fast forward to me doing the experimental round so we can see the effects of cooling on CrossFit performance. 
All right, here's what's going to happen. Because the 25 pound wall ball drop after my 10th rep on the butterfly pull-ups, I'm going to do the same thing in this round as well before actually loading up the 20 pound wall ball. So I wanna try to keep it consistent. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not really scientific, but I wanna try to get this uh, experimental round as close as possible to the baseline round. So yeah, here we go. That was 42 reps. Next is going to be um, butterfly pull-ups. this last movement which is the thruster i'm gonna try to do seven i'm broken probably like what i did last time and i'm gonna see if i can sustain from there because sometimes if you break it up early you can actually do more but i'm gonna try not to do that for this round So this thing actually works. However, the only concern that I have is that to us CrossFitters, we don't always have the luxury to stop in the middle of the workout to cool our palms. But we do have workouts where they're made up of different rounds with rests in the middle. So we can use this as our advantage when that happens. I also think this is gonna be good for uh, MMA fighters and boxers because you get to rest in between rounds and I also think this is going to be beneficial for power lifters and weightlifters because you get to rest in the back of the stage before going to the platform to lift your weight. The final point that I want to make is that you have to test this out for yourself. Yes, it worked for me. Yes, the studies show that it works, but you gotta test it out for yourself so that you can actually know how effective it is to you. It might increase your performance by 20, 30, 40, 50% or maybe not, but at least you'll know that you're not wasting your time. All right, guys, that is it for today. I am always in the lookout for stuff like this. So if you know of any studies that suggest that it'll increase your performance or help you learn faster or more effectively, I'd love to hear about them. If you could put them on the comments below, that would be awesome. All right, guys, that's it. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.